magnify his name come on we give him praise hallelujah he is alpha he is omega hallelujah he's the beginning and he's the end and we bless his name tonight come on we bless his name tonight hallelujah we've been in prayer for five days and we've come seeking his face tonight hallelujah come on we come to seek his face hallelujah we come to seek his face tonight and we come to get answers on tonight anybody come to looking for answers anybody in expectation hallelujah glory come on let's give god praise hallelujah hallelujah we give you glory jesus give you glory come on come on worshipers come on where my worshipers are come on open your mouth and give them glory come on that's it we give you glory jesus yes that's it come on let's lift up a sound in this house come on lift up a sound in this house come on let's lift up a sound of worship hallelujah we give you praise jesus you're worthy of glory yes you are that's it come on you're worthy of honor come on worshipers you're worthy of the highest praise god we give you glory yes lord we give you glory jesus come on we give you glory Come on, we give you glory, Jesus. We give you glory. Come on, we give you glory, Jesus. We give you glory. Have your way in this place, God. We give you glory. Yes, God. Have your way in this place. We give you glory. Yes, God. We yield ourselves to you, Jesus. Come on, Zion. We yield ourselves to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 We bless you, Jesus. Glory to your name, Father. Come on. Glory to your name, Father. Glory to your name, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Anybody come to exalt him tonight? Come on, anybody come to exalt him tonight. Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. We give you praise, God. Hallelujah. We magnify your holy name. Come on. We magnify your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, worship him all over the building. Just lift your hands for a moment and just begin to speak well of the Father. Come on. Come on, with the fruit of your lips, open up your mouth and give him worship. Hallelujah. Come on, that's it. Come on, worship the king. Come on, worship him. Come on, they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Come on. Come on, worship him out of your spirit tonight. Come on, that's it. We worship him out. We worship you out of our spirits tonight, Father. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I will exalt you. I will exalt you. Yes, God. Cause I will exalt you. Hallelujah. Cause you are my God. Come on, listen to that a little bit. I will, I will exalt you. Come on, lift it up. I will exalt you. I will exalt you. Lift your voice and say, I will I exalt you. Yes, Lord. Because you are my God. You are my God. Come on, sing it all over the Sing, I will exalt you. I will exalt you. Hallelujah. I will exalt you. I will you. Yes, God. Come on, lift it up. I will exalt you. Yes, God. You are my God. You are my God. Come on, let's sing it out. Come on, call everybody. Come on, sing it again. I will exalt you. Yes, we will, God. We will exalt your name, Father. I will exalt you. Come on, we will give you the high. Praise Jesus. I will exalt you. Hallelujah. You are my God. You are my God. Can we sing that one more time? I will exalt you. I will exalt you. 
one more time. Let me hear you. I will exalt you. I will exalt. Come on, lift your voice. I will exalt you. Yeah, sing it to the Father tonight. Come on, sing. I will exalt you, Jesus. Yes, God. Because you are my God. You are my God. Come on now, as the music plays, come on, give him the worship in this house. Come on and worship the King now. Yeah. Come on, that's it. Come on, we bless your holy name, God. Hallelujah. We will exalt your name, Father. We will lift your name on high. Yes, God. We will give you praise, Jesus. Oh, we give you glory, Lord. Come on, Zion. We give you praise, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your voice and give a worship. Come on, worship him. Yes, God. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name, God. We lift your holy name, God. We exalt your holy name, Jesus. You're worthy of glory. Hey, you're worthy of glory. Yes, God. You're worthy of glory. You're worthy of glory. Hey, you're worthy of glory. Yes, Lord. Come on, say, I will exalt you, say. I will exalt you. Come on, lift it up. Say, I will exalt you, Lord. I will exalt you. Yes, God. Say, I will exalt you. I will exalt hey. you. Come on, lift your voice. Say, you are my God. Yeah. You are my God. Come on. One more time. Say, I We will exalt your name. I will exalt you. Hallelujah. Come on. We will exalt your name. I will exalt you. Hallelujah. Because you are my God. You are my God. Hallelujah. Oh, you are my hiding place. My safe refuge. My treasure.
me hallelujah cause because you're with me yes God hallelujah I will not fear come on help me sing that come on listen to the because you're with me Come on, because you're with because me. Because you're with me. Because you're because with me. You're with me. Oh, I will not fear. I will not fear. Come on, one more time. Because you're with me. Because you're with me. Come on, he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Because you're because with me. Because you're with me. Hallelujah. Because you're with me. Because you're with me. I will not fear. Hallelujah. I will not fear. Come on, I'll take this opportunity to lift your hands and just begin to worship him. Come on. Out of your spirit, out of your belly, begin to worship him. Come on, Zion, begin to worship the king now. We give you praise, Father. We honor you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We know that you're with us, so we have nothing to be afraid of. Come on. Come on. Worship the King for a moment. Hallelujah. Come on. Worship the King for a moment. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Jesus. We worship and adore your name, God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Press into his presence. Come on. Come on. Open your mouth and press into his presence. Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you all of us tonight. Yes, Lord. We give you all of us tonight. Hallelujah. We give you all of us tonight. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. We say glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. We give glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. Come on, glory. Glory to your name, Jesus. Say glory. Glory to your name, Jesus. We give you glory. Glory to your name, Jesus. Say glory. Glory to your name, Jesus. Oh, you deserve the glory. Glory to your name, Jesus. Oh, you deserve the glory. Glory to your name, Jesus. Oh, you deserve the glory. Glory to your name, Jesus. Yes, you deserve the glory. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name,
Sing, I will always love you. 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 And I will always meet you. 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 Yes, I will always meet you. I will always see you. I will always want 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 you. It is my heart's desire. I will always want you. I will always want you. I will always want you. It is my heart's desire. I will always want you. Hey, I will always want you. 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 I will always love 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 you. Always love you. I Come on, now lift your hands all over the building. Come on. Come on, if you love them, speak well of them. Come on, come on. As your hands are lifted, your mouth should be open. Come on. Come on, come on. Tell them how much you love him. We love you, Jesus. Come on. Come on, we love you, Jesus. Come on, Diane. Come on, lift up your worship. Come on, lift up your love to him. Come on, no music. Lift up your love to him. Come on, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Come on, let a sound of love ring out the house. Come on. Come on, come on. That's it. Press it to the presence of the Lord. Come on. Come on, and we love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Yes, God. I just want to tell you that, Lord, I love you more than anything. Yes, God. Come on, let's sing that. That's one for everybody. Oh, sing, I love you, Jesus. Say, Hallelujah. I worship and adore you. I worship and adore Just want to tell you, Lord. Just want to tell you how much we love you. Lord, I love you more, more than anything. Come on, sing it one more time all over the building. Sing I love you. Come on, we worship and adore you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you. Just want to tell you. How much we love you. Lord, I love you. More, more than anything. Come on, sing with me from your heart.
Oh, come on. I need to hear you. Come on. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, we love it, we love it, we love it. Look at somebody next to you and say, neighbor, I believe that God has great things in store for me. And I want to help y'all stay there. I want to help you come down some. I, I want us to take the limits off of God and off of people. We become so personality driven and, and I'm be honest, that's why I'm careful to bring certain people to certain locations. Because some of us, especially the mother church, can I talk about y'all? We can have a judgmental spirit and can't receive from people because we expect them to be a certain type of way. And oh, I like this one. Oh, I don't like that one. And what happens is when you put people in those categories, you can't receive everything that God wants to give you. Where you going, Christian? You can't receive everything that God wants to do and everything that God wants to give because you put limitations on God because you put him in a bottle or a box. When God's trying to move and in the way he wants to move and he uses different people for different releases. And you know, I don't care nothing about who y'all think y'all like and don't like. I'm not, I'm not a saw leader. What you like and what you don't like, don't move me. I'm obeying God. Oh, come on. Say amen. I'm going to do what the Lord say do every time. And I'm going to keep on doing it every time. Because God brings some to release a certain move and a certain anointing and a certain portion and a certain release. And, and, and look at somebody and say, neighbor, don't miss your release judging the gift. Oh, y'all don't like me. It's all right. You don't like me later, but you may not like me now. Come on here. Look at somebody else and say, hey, neighbor. Tell them, don't miss your release. Judging the gift. Tell them, God's trying to get something in this room. Come on, if you believe it, tell them, hallelujah. Come on, that's why you open your mouth. I need to hear you praise it. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, I can't hear you, church. Leap on your feet. Come on, Zion. Let me say this. I'm sorry. Because I still hear the Holy Ghost talking. Because this ain't a flesh thing. And some of us too carnal. Stuck in our flesh. Stuck in our mind. And we're so carnal we can't see the move of God. We can't see what God. And sometimes God may not release it. Bam, bam, bam. He may release it there. It's for all of this. But because we're so locked up in our mind, we can't see God's trying to release something. This is a new year. Oh God, that old, that messy old stuff and that, that carnal perception. I break it now in the name of you. I'm sorry. God's trying to do something new. Somebody just, just, just take a few steps and shake that mess off. Tell them I'm not judging what God's trying to do. You're going to miss the promised land. You gonna miss Canaan judging the wilderness. You gonna miss Canaan judging the Red Sea. You gonna miss Canaan judging what you see with your eyes. But somebody said, I'm gonna get everything God has. I never hope who said you can't get water out of a water. You looking for a well, but the water's in the rock. Shout yes. Lord, I need a Holy Ghost church. Somebody open your mouth and give them a shout. Because I feel Jesus. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. Come on over here. Table is spread. Feast up. Come on! 
When I was growing up in church, I used to love when we would visit other churches and we really didn't know them like that. I was talking to Zach about this in the car. But the mothers of the church, they would link up with somebody they didn't know and just start. You, you understand? They had kindred spirits. Hey, mother! They had kindred spirits. And they just linked up in the Holy Ghost together. You know, they don't do that no more. We didn't got prior for But what blessed me on Monday night, you saw mothers connected in the spirit realm. We may not be blood, but we're connected in the Holy Ghost. And when you get with them, something happens. I want, I want you to find somebody you may not know, but see if you can find somebody you can connect with in the spirit. See if you find somebody, find them. Find them, find them, find them. Find them and tell them, you my connection tonight. You my connection tonight. And when you find them, look at them.
so let me hear the people clap. It's all right. See, you know it's good when they get to rubbing their head. That's that's how you know I'm trying to do my best to contain. But I feel a Baptist thank you coming. Huh? Somebody in that section just help her and just throw your head back and holler thank you. Oh, thank you. Your neighbor said, you don't want to praise him. Don't hinder me. Because I sure got a reason. Oh, yes. Sure got a reason. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. You don't know my story. You don't know my story. You don't know my story. Thank you, Jesus. It's Friday. We thank you. I feel a Friday night run in my spirit. I ain't gonna stop you. If you gonna do it, you better hurry. Hey, 
revolution. <laughs> you better praise him, man. Praise him in your Jordans. We, we miss you, sir. We gotta be good hosts. This, he didn't probably been to Indy twice. This is his first time in heaven. You gotta be, you gotta be nice. Praise him! But don't say nothing, just say, come on, Pastor. Come up here, Pastor. Come on, bring Pastor. <clears throat> I love you, New Zion. We have been, we literally been in church. A whole month. Look, don't you do it any. You gotta excuse us. We've been doing this since December 1st. To December 1st. Don't do that, Mama Trina. So you gotta know it's something different. Something different going on with us. Praise it, Mama. Praise it, Mama Trina. Now when Deke get to clapping, you know the glory in here for real. Somebody help Deke praise him, because when Deke get to clapping. Six for us since December 1st we've been running after God prophet we shut in twice for 24 hours straight just trusting God you gotta excuse us listen this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just get out the way we got folks in the back on the floor already. I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna get in the prophet's way. I don't have to, we love him. 
Many of you already know I'm good to see Mama Rockamore tonight. I love you, Mother. Good to see you. Yes. Amen to our, my beautiful queen. Come on, First Lady. I love you. And our children. Amen. God is good. Hallelujah to all the pastors. I love all y'all. Just everybody. But listen, can you stand on your feet? Whatever. Stay there, Christian. Whatever prophets say, do, do. Do we got a hot mic? All right. We go on with God. Whatever he say, wherever we go. Let us receive. This is the first time he's in this location. He's been to Indy twice. Listen. This man. Let me say this. Come down. Stay there. But just, I just want them to hear this, but y'all can stay there. When other prophets speak well of him, Bishop Jordan called me. And the prophet Hall testifies. He's probably one of the only ones living that don't miss. That's what, that's what Bishop E. Bernard Jordan said. He said, he don't miss. He said, not only does he have the word of knowledge, but a lot of people can't take him because of how well he sees in the future. So many people were coming into Indy, the new building we had there, saying all the great things that God was going to do in that building. He was one of the only ones that came and told me in the back, get out of here. He said, get out of this building. This ain't God. Here, you thought, you know, everybody giving you good news. He, no, mm -mm. he said, get out of here. And he said, get out fast. And he started talking about the things he saw going on in the building. And uh, just the hand of God that's on him and some other things he spoke that literally those in Indy know he said some things that would happen. And when he gave dates, they happened by the end of that date. Court dates and things he said that God was going to handle. And God did just that. We're here for God. Let me say this. I don't like to put limits on the men of God, men and women of God. But we're not moved if they don't prophesy or if they don't prophesy to us. Sometime in just the conversation. We'll miss God speaking in just him speaking. And I want us to just take the limits off and we want a move of God, not a show. We go to the movies for a show. And I don't want to turn this into a clown show or a magic show. We want God tonight. And however God wants to use him, I want him to be free to do what God said do. I want you to clap your hands as he's approaching this podium. Prophet Brian Moses. As you stand. As you're standing. Let's give the bishop a thunderous applause Bishop Brandon Jacobs come on don't panic and give it to him his lovely wife Reverend Mrs. Jacobs give her a great big hand and look down your row and tell somebody I've been deputized to keep the flow on this road Father, again, we thank you. We don't have to ask you to come in. You're here. You're present. Put wings on the words and movement in the message and power in the proclamation. We ask it in Jesus' name. Let everybody say amen. You may be seated. I'm telling you, when I was listening to the bishop, it was taking me back. Uh-huh. And I remember those Friday nights and those testimonial services and our children, we were kids and you learned the culture and we, our pastor said, if you can't say nothing, but thank God for your life, health and strength and all of us young people would stand up and we would honor our leader and we would thank and praise the Lord for our life and our health and our strength. And, and we would watch the old people, the older people, and they would say, thank you, Jesus. And then we would say, thank you, Jesus. Thank and praise the Lord for waking us up this morning. Glory to God, closed in my right mind. I've been justified by faith and sanctified by the blood. Got to walk in hallelujah and sweeping victory, melting down power of 
That's how we testify. Took him on by water baptism in his name. This is where we came from. And I can hear it in some of you. And he's a good time man. Come on, give him a great big hand. I like it. And, and I tell you, I said, Lord, and the little fellow up here dancing, where is he at? He came, uh, yes, sir. I can remember, yeah, you got it going. Don't let nobody stop you. You hit that corner three and four times. I said, watch him now. Keep on, because listen, they could be doing other dancing. But the Lord has preserved us. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. Oh, tell your neighbor, I'll go with him. Oh, all the way. I'll go with him through the valley. I'll go with him. I'll go with him through the valley. I'll go with him through the valley. You ought to look at somebody and say, I'll go with him all, all the way where he leads me. Tell your neighbor, I I will follow, I'm getting happy, where he leads me, I, I will follow, yeah. I'll go with him, how many gonna go with him, where he leads me, yeah. tell your neighbor, I'll go with him, get somebody's hand here. Oh, all the way, yes, everybody. God, how many know he's with you? I will make the darkness light before you and what is wrong I'll make it right before thee all my battles I will fight for thee in the high places tell your neighbor God said I'll I'll bring down tell your neighbor say neighbor he already brought it down when I walk it by the way I'll lead thee yeah. On the fatness of the I'm gonna what feed ah, and a mansion. Tell your neighbor I'm gonna have one down here in the sky. Heaven is a prepared place for prepared people. I'm living down here. I'll deed thee. Tell your neighbor. And the high places. Oh, good God Almighty. And the high places. See, you, you started this. And the high places. Go to two people and tell them. I'll 
God said, I'll bring it down. Let me give you this. I'm going to leave this alone. Yes, sir. I got something to tell you. Hey! To incorporate with one of some of the or your repertoire of old songs. There was one, I, if you had an acoustic, when I come back, you give me a grand piano, I'll play for the service. Mm -hmm. I'll do one of them James Cleveland there. But that song they used to sing, well, I looked down the line and I wondered, and I wondered, and I wondered, and I wondered, oh, yes, I wondered. Well, I looked down the line and I wondered, and I, I had to see, see how I'm going to see. I'm going to see, oh, see. See how far am I away from God? That's it. I, I, I picked up my Bible and I read it and I read it. Oh, I read it. Oh, yes, I read it. Well, you know, I picked up my Bible and I read it. Well, I had to see, see how, see, I'm going to see, see, see how far I am away from God. Now listen, well, I buckled up my shoes and I started, well, I started, oh yes, I started, well, I buckled up my shoes. And I started. Well, I had to see. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Think about that. I want to see how far. Listen. Isaiah 60, 22. Isaiah 60, 22. I'm going to paraphrase this. The smallest family will become a thousand people. Yeah. I'm going to say that again. Isaiah 60 and 22. The smallest family will become a thousand people. And the tiniest group will become a mighty nation now listen to this at the right time I want you to find somebody you really don't know and tell them these words anticipated promise I want you to go to three other people and say it like you really mean it anticipated promise Anticipated. Anticipated expectation. This is somebody's word. Anticipation. I want you to tell somebody anticipation is looking for you. And anticipation is looking forward for something. Somebody is pregnant since the 1st of December. Crossed over and you're still pregnant with possibilities. But expectation is belief that it's going to happen. How many believe that it's going to happen? I, I need you to tell somebody it's going to happen. You're the same folk that said, I'm going to live. 
to see. Uh, there's a, this is a season that you and I need to look forward in that the thing that God promised is coming to pass. Um, somebody has some expectation. You can always tell when God's about to do something, all hell breaks. And you almost want to go back to the apostle or the prophet or whoever told you something. You can keep them words to yourself next time. Because I wasn't going through all this before you said anything. I was fine just worshiping and having a good time. But when you spoke over my life, it shifted. I'm talking to people that are grown up now. You know a little more than the 23rd Psalm. You, you, you got a word, and it's about to put on flesh. God is about to surprise you. Somebody out there in the Athenio, God's about to surprise you. You about to have more money than month. Can you handle that? Time is broken up into what? Seconds and minutes and hours and days and weeks and months and years. And uh, at any given second, God's about to make it happen. I was sitting there and he said, I'm about to make it happen with a credit score of This is not a three point. You got to follow me to do a three point. This is prophetic. Listen to the text. The smallest family will become a thousand people. Now you work that. The smallest family. A thousand people. I heard you back there saying, I ain't never seen this in all my life. I guess you haven't. I've been reading Isaiah all this time and didn't see this. Listen, what I just read is increase. And I don't need Brother Murdoch to come here with a story. But somebody in here is going to get their own FedEx. I've, I want one person to get up and just holler, expectation. <laughs> so if you, have, if you have been feeling insignificant, you're about to increase into significance. I don't care if you're wearing it from Target or Walmart. They're going to miss all that because the glory and what God's about to do is bigger than your garage. Bigger than your living room. Huh. And God says, I don't need no one to co-sign. Uh, listen, your previous season, you felt looked over. You don't have to say nothing. They don't call on me. God said, I'm about to make it up to you. But I had to keep you where you are. See, God prepares us through people. He prepares us through the manipulating manager that we want to smack. He prepares us through our family. Lord, I'm just born in this family. That's all. How many know that God works behind the scenes to prepare you for the palace? And you just don't arrive there. Okay. And, 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 and I, guess, I guess Joseph wants to preach, but I really don't want him to preach right now. But he's probably saying, if I had a nun, old folks, if I had a nun, that it was going to be all of this. But see, you didn't choose you. And that's why 
you see, a lot of folk are in the wrong place because God called you for this. And when God calls you for something, you don't need somebody to sign off. I'm telling you, you're about to get something that you have been waiting on um, and on his journey. Joseph ran into somebody. Let me tell you something. How can you say it was good for me that I was afflicted and you never had nothing? For if I had never had a problem, I would not. Come on here. See, God takes, you don't start preaching really until uh, you, you preach in theory when you start out. For years, you'll preach in theory. It's like having a car, see, because God has to balance you. You can put new tires on a car, but if you don't balance it. That's why some of us need to wait and sit under. Because God has something for us, but the time ain't right. Let me get back here, but I'm talking to somebody. You're talking about launching something. First, God's got to launch you. Yeah, you sound like Houston, and you sound like this one, and you sound like that one, but you don't know your voice. You got to find out who you are. And sometimes that takes time. This is not, uh, 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 you know, people, no, this is not a career. Because some of us would have been signed out by now. But this is a calling. And if you sit with somebody long enough that's been where you're trying to go, you say, oh, I, uh, I didn't sign up for this. But yet you said God is doing what? He's got something for me. You see, in your previous season, you felt like that, that it wasn't going to happen. Let me tell you this. Uh, you'll get increase in a few days. And you're going to move from insignificant to significant. I want you to remember that. And, and, and the tiniest group is going to become a mighty nation. Watch, see what God's doing in America. See, America can't get it right. <laughs> and they won't get it right until they get rid of their baggage. If you're a prophetic voice, you know that. America can't get it right until they come and work for us. Ethiopia has stretched forth. The Lord said, we're in the stretch now. The Lord said that in this time, we are in, he's going to give us a reach. We're so busy saying millionaire, we don't even want to say billionaire. We're so busy trying to be blessed when we're already blessed. And we ought to rejoice because while we're sitting here, something's happening. You going in to something that a man built and paid a lot of money for and couldn't stay there. Him and his wife are busted up. And then you walk into something. And the wife meets you in the kitchen and says, listen, do us a favor and just take the house. These are the days when that scripture that we dance on, the wealth of the sin, yeah, 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 yeah. We've been going on, yeah, but it's really going to happen. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, he's talking to us about something mighty. It's indescribably delicious, you see. You will not long uh, transition is in the room and you're about to transition into a place of what influence now all y'all that are trying to be affluent I didn't say that 
I said influence. They sound alike, maybe. But the difference is you can be affluent and don't nobody know you. You're the only one that knows you're affluent. You see? You're the only one. You know, there's people that have great voices, but they're the only one that knows it. See, that's why God will take you out of one place and bring you somewhere else. But he has to work on your character so that when you get over there in Europe, you don't act crazy. A whole lot of people are gifted. See, see, your, 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 your gift will take you some places, but it'll take character to keep you. And I'm speaking to somebody because I feel you're going somewhere. I believe that you're on to something. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I'm on to something. And that's why I'm having a fight with so many folk. Tiny, mighty. Tiny, mighty. Do, do you see what I'm saying? Tiny, mighty, tiny, mighty. Question before I close. All of us have prayed this prayer. This one prayer. You know that one prayer is win. You, you know you bump into somebody that you've seen in another meeting and said, hey, did that thing come to pass like that person told you? Win. I wish I had one person to holler win. At the right time. Come on, prophet. That's the answer. That, that, that. That's the text. That's what the text. I say right in the, the for all of you seminarians uh -huh. Uh -huh. that want the tenor and the tone. Now, if I was with the preachers, I know how to handle myself. Bringing in a clothes and all that, but I ain't doing that. I just wanted to speak to you. Used to be tiny, now you're mighty. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I used to be tiny, now I'm mighty. And I'm going to have some mighty, mighty good places to live. Look at somebody tell them at the right time. What, I like this one. At the set time. And like the old, like the old preachers used to say, hey, yeah. Set time. I, I feel like somebody, if I could get two people that would, would get up and say, the set time. You're answering your own question, right? Yeah. At the set, people ask you, did you get that thing yet that preacher said you were going to get? And he said, at the set time. Some of you girls in here. Yeah, I'm going there. You've been praying for a good man. I ain't talking about somebody broken down, can't do nothing. You could do bad by yourself. You done waited 20 years, and then you waiting 20 minutes for him to come out the bathroom. Don't edge me on. Only one that can edge me on is the bishop. All you other folk are troublemakers. God will give you somebody. Let me get back to that text. I ain't going to get out in this water here. <laughs> Don't start nothing. Lady came to me and said, I've been following you. I've been trying to find you. And now that I've found you up in the store. She, in the store. I go to the store too. And, and raise a whole lot of cane. Huh? I do too. 
You don't want to go nowhere with me but church. That's why I stopped sending my food back, you know, because customer service. Fried chicken, Hoppin' John's, and things ain't tasting right. You better go back to start growing your own stuff. What's supposed to taste like a fried chicken wing, it's got so much grease on it. About 5.30 in the morning, it's twisting and turning in you. Anybody ever had that testimony? Couldn't get to sleep all last night. Tossing and turning. You want a good husband. But are you a good woman? We ought to be able to work this out. I can't cook. And I don't try to cook. I, I, when you come to my place, I leave and go to the store and get this hot, you know, the bar is hot, got all chicken and all that. And I'll tell them I'll be right back. I, and I'm going to feed you, right? So when I get back, I don't put everything out of those pans into my stuff. Pull it out of the microwave and start serving. And they say, man, you something. And I can't say nothing or I lie. I said, is it good? Man, I didn't know you could cook like this. Huh? It's a corn muffin. I said, thank you. <laughs> so you got to know what you can do. And then God gives you somebody to compliment you. Everybody you're with doesn't compliment you. Young people, let me come down your street. See, y'all do this and I can't stick with what I'm supposed to do. Talking about, I'm, Mom, I'm in love. Dad, I'm in love. What are you in love with? A whole semester, you in love. Down the drain. Because you become distracted. And distraction is going to keep us from the opportunity that's about to walk in our house. First of all, when you're having this kind of thing, you've got to look at value. God allowed your mother and father to put value on in your life. That's why when they look out the window and want to know, who are them people? Anybody come from the old school know what I'm talking about. You couldn't have nobody in the house. Where did you get those people? Ma, listen, let's not go through this today. And how many brothers know when you tried to introduce another young lady to the house, you, you had to talk to your mother first and tell her, now, Ma, I don't need you talking about what happened last week. That's not Robin. This is another girl, Cynthia. I wish I had the brothers with me here. So you've got to talk to them. And you've got to say, Mom, calm down. I'm not calming down. Every time I turn around, you bring some other woman up in here. And already got six children and don't want to do Okay, leave it alone. Can't have this girl because this girl's acting up so bad you can't even bring her to Target. Because she might meet up with the third one that you have and that one don't play. She already told you she's going to make your life miserable. Especially when you get the ones that go like this with the earring. Go, ah. hold on. Ah. And want to show out in front of, okay, it's funny. I don't blame her. I blame you. Because your mother told you. When you uh, one thing about a lady, a lady knows another lady. And son, mama can tell you if that's going to work or not. And young lady, let me tell you something. While you getting all upset with his mother, you need to become her daughter. So she can teach you. You better believe it. He still doesn't put his stuff in the laundry. He won't iron anything. When mother finished telling you about her boy that she loves so much, 
you might check out. And then the question is, what love? Ain't got nothing. Somebody say, I'm expecting. This is the moment that God's going to bless you and you won't be single anymore. That other side of the bed has been cold. I'm on my way home now. Some of you know it's been cold because you do this during the night. Ain't no footsie because ain't nothing in there. Ain't nothing in there. Ain't nothing in there. What you faking for? Ain't nothing in there. Just take the pillow and hold your chest like this. Say, Lord, send help from the sanctuary. Some of y'all been there. But see, sometimes God wants you single so that you can appreciate being with somebody. Bring me back for the, the couples conference and all that, and I'll do all that then. Anybody that tells you, I, I, I can't live without you, you need to leave them quick. Because you've got to have, you've got mental problems. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. And the first thing the devil shows you is a butcher knife. No, I'm talking about people down in South Carolina where I come from. We're dealing with mental health issues. And the church has the answer. What is the answer? The blood. I want you to tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I'm anticipating a promise. Matter of fact, I want one person to get up and walk and say any day now. Wait a minute. Yes, Lord. Put your hand together and say it. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. At the right time, at the right time, I'm setting you up now. At the right time, I hear the sound of an abundance. I hear something. My God, my God. You, 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 you. When you, when anybody had been in the country and you want to know if the train is coming, they tell you to put your, you, you put your head down on the tracks. You can hear the sound of the train coming. I want you to know if there's a train coming. And this one is coming without any mortgage payments. Now let that go over your head. I mean, what are you going to do when your cash, wait a minute, what are you going to do when your cash app keeps going off and off? It just keeps going off. See, that's why I don't wait till I get here. But I do this at... Set time. Appointed time. Watch this one. Do time. And if you haven't done nothing, then don't expect nothing. Do season. Talk to me. Be not weary. I can't get no help now. Be not weary. Oh. Be not weary in well-doing. Because you shall reap. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Oh. 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 Listen, I, I smell new leather. I, I see a stern wheel that's wood. With, okay. In due season. <sighs> what 
I, well, I, I'm done. But I want somebody to, to, to get up and, and walk and say, do season. Do season. Do season. Do season. Do season. And, and you ought to say it while things are shifting. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, there's a whole, there's a whole lot of things that are shifting in my life. But when this is over, I'll have the D in my hands. I can't hear nobody say, neighbor, don't you be weary. Sit down for a minute, look at this. 2024. Help me, help me. This, this might make you dance. 2024, two plus, listen, two plus zero is what? Two plus four is what? Two plus six equals what? So eight is in here. In the 24, Woo, is a new beginning. I need somebody, one person, to come down here and do a new beginning dance. what's going to happen, you'll get what? Increase. And then influence and impact is in this room right now. So here's the other one. Win! At the right time. I, I wish I had somebody that could do a right time dance. payments You should have been dancing. Because somebody is coming out of lockup. There were two in here and there were about 13 out there. Young lady, the Lord said, I already handled him.
rent just came in the room. And I add another one to bring you current. They just ended the foreclosure. At the right time, they'll look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, who's going to do it? Well, the text says, I, comma, it didn't say, I, comma, Brian. Oh, Y'all missed it. It didn't say I comma Bank of America. It didn't say I comma Wells Fargo. It didn't say I comma the credit union. But it said I. Look at your neighbor and say the law. The law. And put this on the screen. He will make it happen. Get out of your seat and tell three people he's going to make it happen. He's gonna make it happen. Come on, everyone, every 3,000 of you, he's gonna make it happen. Come on, go to somebody and get firing up in here. Incite a riot and say he will make it happen. He's going to make it happen. I need 10 people to walk down the aisles around the church and say, he'll make it happen. He'll make it happen. He'll make it happen. My son's getting delivered. The cancer is dried up. He made it happen. make it happen the next doctor's appointment the numbers are gonna be right he's gonna make it happen he's gonna make it oh my god I feel a push for you to praise God. You're going to make it happen. At the right time. You ought to say it for the rest of this month. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. A thousand people will become at you. The lump is not cancer. It's benign. They brought the, got the test back. And they said it's not there. It's not in the lymph nodes. It hasn't spread it. God said it's going to happen. And he took you all through this. It was a process. God said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right now. Oh. That's why you got to stay close to this consecration. Because God is working on you. And you are working on you. Because you're going to be better. You're going to be sound. You're going to be sober. You're going to find, you're going to do some house cleaning. You're going to have a whole new different idea. And the Lord said, 
you'll be. You say, well, Lord, I got this money. And the Lord said, I've walked you through stewardship. Because I can't entrust the 10,000 and you're not doing right with the thousand. I want to give you a million, but you got to have vision. And see, when you have vision, you don't have to ask for money. It comes to you. And the Lord said, some of you in here and out there, money's coming to you to do work. They're going to bless you with transportation. They're going to feed you lunch and breakfast at the job fair. And they're going to walk up to you and say, could you step over here for a minute? We've heard about you. Excuse me? I'm just a volunteer at the job fair. Listen, do me a favor. Have you updated your resume? I'm prophesying. Huh? Yeah, have you, have you got all your stuff together? Because we would like to interview you. That's why you have to be sensitive to the Spirit of God. Sometimes God will use a heathen to get all your paperwork together. And they don't know nothing. All they know is that I just need to do this to help you. And you're trying to pay them and they'll say, oh no, I couldn't do it. I can't take that from you because all I want is you to pray for me. God said, I'm getting ready to put people in your life that are angels unaware. They're getting ready to, God's going to use them as a channel. He's the source now. But God said, I'm going to use them to bless the four years of school and the money's already in place. And I can say to you right now, there's hundreds of you and there's thousands of you and there's people in here right now in the next 21 months, you will have a new zip code. And God said, I'm going to put everything on one floor for you. Won't be no climbing up and climbing back down. How, how do you feel when all of your stuff is paid off? And all you have is utilities. And God said, I want, when I came here tonight, he said, to tell him I'm going to give him a debt-free ministry. I'm going to infuse it with money. You're on the brink of it. Some of the things that God's going to do, he doesn't want you to tell everybody. Keep some things for you to yourself. Because there are people that like to pray against. They can't even say glory to you or praise the Lord or God bless you. Because it's not them. And they're missing who God put your blessing in your face. Everybody that comes to you, you don't stop sharing them with everybody. That's your influence. Be careful. You're casting your pearls. Uh-huh. People get mad and won't call you for a month. And all you did is tell them you got a raise. Oh, my God. Come on. Watch with family members. Nobody was there for me. Well, when you change your attitude, you'll realize he was there. Get somebody's hand real quickly. God's doing something. Oh. You're on the brink of it. He's going to make it happen. Something is about to break for you. There are about 20 people in here that are on a career crossroad. You're in it right now. And what you've been, what you've been passionate about. And so God is saying, because when you start helping people you don't have to worry about your stuff God said he's calling the black church to service in this next season we're going to service the world we're going to service them with all of their uh, yeah with all of their impediments so prepare yourself I don't like to be around because look 
God chose you. God wants the young man, his nose is bleeding from cocaine, but he's a good person. He needs you. God said, I'm going to put you in places to minister quietly. Lives are going to be changed in one conversation. And I, I speak this all over the country. In this next season, it's going to be about transformation. So people are going to come and they're not going to be right according to standards. But they're going to be right for God. God is going to take him and listen what the Lord said to us in this fasting and praying and all of this that we're doing. He wants us to be nice and kind. You fasting and praying and you're mean as a rattlesnake. I'm talking about people in North Carolina. God wants you to work on smiling and, and be nice and stop being impulsive and let people speak. I'm ministering in the spirit. Let people tell their story. And don't you have a bigger story right then? Because that person is getting ready to get delivered right in front of you. And they're going to say to you, all that you said. And you say, huh? All that you said has changed my life. You know what? You listened. Nobody ever listened to them. And so I speak also to those of you that are by yourself. You think, God said, I wanted it that way. Because he said in this next season, I do not, and I'm not going to. Huh? I want your undivided attention. I'm about to do something with you. And the persons that you're connected with is not in your future. I asked somebody the other day, is they, are they in your future? I don't know. I said, are they in your future? I don't know. I said, well, then you need to pray. Because you don't want to be unequally yoked. God said, I'm about to do something with your families. And the people that wouldn't go to church for whatever reason, they're about to get over it. And that's where God wants you to take them from there to him. Glory to God. Now you're holding that person's hand. Start saying glory and watch what happens. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, you're almost there. Now throw them hands up and say it. Bringing an end to a court battle in here. I'm bringing it to an end. And you've been saying this going back has not been resolved. But you got one more time and then the judge or whoever it is, they're throwing it out. And when you were dancing... When you were dancing with the pink on, where is she at? Come here. Come here. Yeah. When you were dancing earlier, the Lord said, tell her it's all coming to an end. And this is your last struggle. Come on. God said, I'm going to handle. There it goes. Oh, somebody ought to help us. I'm handling 
Every, listen, everything is not about a new car. Somebody needs to be freed from the system. And the Lord said, don't worry about the kids. I'm not going into detail on camera. She knows, I know, and God knows. But I want you to start dancing like you were. something out of family court in here and the rightful own okay uh-huh so this is what God is doing when you were up here singing young man that's right the Lord said dance with her because he said I'm handling something with the family somebody run over there and help her <laughs> Indiana, so you can have uh, some expectations that things are going to be good for you. Some of you will be moving again before the spring. Uh-huh. Now, when you mentioned the deacon earlier, come here, sir. the Lord said, I'm
take it to the top of English grammar. Pull your hands up. That's right. And whatever you read, it is, you remember. That's the anointing is on you. Somebody ought to help us. that things are about to break for your businesses or the idea uh, any day now I said he's gonna do it and how many believe that he's about to do it glory 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 how many have the expectation I'm handling See, your debt ratio just went down.
Come here. All of these questions are going to be answered in that day. Listen, international is here now. And you're going to see different shades of colors. And it's not going to be just one thing, you see. Because if you get one Asian, another Asian is coming. If you get one Ecuadorian, you're going to get another one. And this building won't hold. And everything that needs to be done, down to the wiring, it's all, he said start dancing because it's already done. Somebody help me. or you're in here, but Janelle, you hear me, things are changing for the Cooper family. That's that quicken. Put your phone up. Hold it up. He said, from here all the way to Monroe, and then back, and then start dancing for Louisiana. Whoever is the recipient of it is a healthcare worker too. So God said, I'm giving her increase. Holy! Get somebody by the hand and shout, holy. holy. Say it to something, break something here. Even the Helms family. It's already done, Amaya. Oh, yeah, where are you at? Uh-huh. Where well, the Lord said it's already done. He's going to do something between now and April, tell her something between now and April the 15th. It's already done. Oh, my God. Somebody's pocketbook just did the hooping call. Hallelujah. I, I want one person to walk around this building and say, billionaire. Yesterday, whose who's young fella is this? Whose child is this? The Lord said, I'm going to take, wait and hold it. Come in. He said, one, one side is, he said, I'm giving you strength in one side. Huh. 
He said, I heard you cry. I'm going to do something from the socket all the way to the kneecap. Yeah. And you watch how you wake up in the morning. But it's already done. Shake, look at that. said transfer your dedication and your faithfulness to this house to this man of God and the Lord said ministry is all over you and down the road whew, God you're going to have a great ministry. He said, I'm paying all of the schooling. Everything. You're very focused about it. I, I just love preaching and all this. Now start dancing for it. God's going to make it happen. I said, God's going to make it happen. Debt cancellation. Somebody holler right now. Every person in here and online, something is going to break for you. Before this month is at, I want everyone to holler 88. I don't know who you are, what you have. If it's the only $88, get it in your hand. That's a seed. I'm seeing it fly all around here and get in this aisle. And I don't want you to wait on anybody. While you're walking in the aisle, holler 88. That's right. That's right. If you're listening to me, and I know you are, the Spirit said, do it. You and you all over the country on whatever platform give 88 as a seed. And when you've done that, go there and matter of fact, just say it's done. My God, because you're going to hear from a relative that you haven't heard from in a while. They're not dead. Watch God. Watch God. God said, I'm doing something in this house. If you're sitting here, take your phone, whatever you have, and put 88 on there. If it's a check, and they'll tell you how to do this. Uh, whoever has the, is it up on the screen or something? Glory, glory. The other 20 people get up with the $88. Do it. That's right. Watch with God. You're not going to miss it. Tell three people, I'm not going to miss this I'm not going to miss it. God's doing it as I'm speaking. Every person there, just say, I've done it. Go and say, I've done it. It's on there. It's done. It's done. All over. You, you watch. Hallelujah. What happens over these next weeks. You won't even miss it. There's still 10 people in the audience. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We speak. He's enlarging your territory. Get ready for another two bedrooms. Get ready. Hallelujah. Watch what God does. Promotion is in here. Oh, yes. They're promoting you while I'm speaking. And then those that are sitting and those that are, let's get something close to 88 and go in the aisle. If I see you sitting, I'll ask you what you're sitting for. Because the prophet told the woman what to do. Make a cake. The blessing comes in obedience. Oh, God, the blessing is in here, and I'm leaving a blessing in here. Oh, my God. 
Hallelujah. Tides that went through the roof. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Back up the brink truck. This is another season. It's going to be a season of wealth. People, families are getting paid off. And one by one, they'll be getting out of debt. That's how you get a church out of debt, right? So God said they'll, they'll have their own homes through you. Glory. It's already, I'm speaking it right now. Hallelujah. Somebody just woke up out of ICU. Did you hear me? And I haven't even told the church about it yet. Sir. Yeah. Get up on your feet. This is real. You can't make this up. They're waking up out of strokes. God said it. I stood here and heard him say, I woke you up. To God be the glory. He said, if you give me the praise for it, if you give God the glory, God will put your enemies, he'll shut their mouths. There's an attack on the body of Christ. God said, to tell folk, you leave it alone and watch me. Only God can deal with the hearts of men. Glory. And I tell preachers this and I tell you that huh, you can't live above reproach because they didn't like Jesus and they're not going to like us for his name's sake. Not for Brian, for his, they will hate you. God said that I'm going to do something. The glory's in here. The tumors are falling off. Every person online, I wouldn't tell you a story. You get to that place and push those buttons and sow $88. Everyone in the house, say these words, Lord. I thank you for increase. I thank you for the seed that I'm sowing now. 88, new beginning. It's already done. And when you come up here, holler, I'm a millionaire in the making. Come on. Oh! Come on. Somebody's trying to get into law enforcement. It's already done. It's my Sunday. You hear what I said? He's going to bless you. She's going to sing. She's going to be a singer. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. I hear the sound of percussions. Come here, son. Stand right there. Hallelujah. Right over in here. Where's the baby over here? Who's Jackson? Who's Jackson? Stand up then. It's done. I'm, 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 I'm. It's already done. You know you're going to be a singer, right? Come here. Come here. Yeah. You're going to be a singer. Now, I know all the intellectuals and all the academics and I was watching you tonight and the Lord said he's brilliant that's what the Lord said I said what else Lord he is going to be a great leader in his class and all of that you have the, all the looks for a doctor now throw your hands up just put your hands up that's right it's already done everything God has. Academic excellence is on him. Get a good look at him because it's already done. I'm not going to ask you to dance. I'm not going to do that. I got to run in trouble about that. I had one kid. I said, start dancing. He says, no, I don't dance. I said, I don't bother them. And they say they don't dance. I don't bother them. But listen, he's going to have a great life. He's got a great dad and great mom.
It's already done. Come here. I didn't forget about you, Cheryl. Now, um, percussions. There's going to be percussions here. Everyone online, if you've done the seed, say, I've done that. Put your, get your name to us. Can they do that so we can pray for them? Their names, whatever. Lord, touch them. This one is going to play uh, percussions. Tap, tap, tap all over the house. You know I don't know any. Look, look, see, I told you. That's right, tap, 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 tap. It's, all, it's on you. That's right. Didn't I tell you? Look at that. See, you can't make it up. Josiah was eight years old. I'm going to give you a word. God is working with the children. Now, somebody say empowering. That's what God raised you up for, to empower young people. They've got to make the connection because they're going to lead us. Don't fool yourself. Come on. I'm preaching to people, grandchildren that were babies. Now I'm preaching their revivals. Isn't that amazing? And so God is doing it. Everything is paid for. Start dancing. Somebody ought to help me, man. said, Bishop, the Lord said, bless him, and he's going to keep your health. Shake yourself. Glory, glory. Now, I, I said retirement. Go ahead, Bob. Go ahead, Bob. And I, God said, you're going to have the option, either you want to do it now, or you want to do these other months, or whatever. But the money, you're going to, the money is coming and it's going to be very nice. And you'll be able to work with the church and we can, I want to be able to go here. I want to be able to follow Bishop and do things. And so God said, because there's a, yeah. The Lord. I want you, you know what I want you to do? Get a good look at him. He's a good man. Walk, go, go down the aisle and say, bigger than FedEx.
Come on, praise him, church. Praise him, church. Let the prophet go to work. Praise him, church. Hallelujah. church let's go if you ain't dancing you're clapping don't let them hands get tired let's go come on i'm ready
You gonna go home with a breakthrough. Somebody grab the back of your pew and go to praise him like you done lost your mind. Praise him, church. Don't worry about your neighbor. Don't worry about who you're next to. Praise him, church. Something's 
has happened I need spiritual people with spiritual ears hear me every night so far has been strategic and has been a move of God and a plan of God and ordained by God whether you felt it whether you believed it whether you agree with it Ta -da -da -ba -si. and I want to I don't know if you heard it or sensed it but even before the prophet began to give personal prophecy, so much prophecy was happening and he was speaking. He had got in a moment in a vein where he just began to speak and speak and speak. Lift your hands all over this building. I hope we tape what happened tonight. I hope we tape it. Literally tonight, on my way in here, Elder Jason was put on the ventilator. And they were calling us to, that's right, run, Elder. Tell us something crazy. But me and Minister Joy and Deacon Weems, we said we believe God. His family with Aya Ilolobosa. And literally, while he was up, something shifted to difficult. Is he on right now, Joe? Huh? He's now up texting and talking. Come on. They were trying to tell us something else was going to happen by the end of the night. That's why I ain't say nothing about it. Because I said, this is not what God said. I need somebody to open up your mouth and give him a shout. Oh, come on, Zion. Shout. Prophet, you at home, do whatever you want to do. We with God tonight. Oh, come on out of your belly, church. I need to hear you, Zion. Tonight is a strategic night. Out of your belly. Yes. Hey, yo, don't talk, talk. Come on, I need to hear you. I need your belly. I need your belly. I need your belly. Out of your belly. Yes! 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 Shana na na boho! Ina na ba se! Yanda na na boho ya ba ha! Ika tona ba ha! Miracles are in this house! Powers in this house! Signs and wonders are in this house! The glory is in this house! Levels of praise and power and worship is in this house! Get ready for the overflow! Get ready for the influx! Get ready for the next place! The devil is a liar! Not here! No, no! Yeah, no, 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 no,
yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, Zion. 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 You're the man that behind you. Woo. And more miracles. And more miracles. And more miracles. And more miracles. I am a Bahoya. Call that by say. We got to Bahoya behind. Woo. I feel an ancient oil with a new school move. I feel an ancient oil with a new school move. I feel an ancient oil with a new school move. Oh, come on, church. I told Bell call back, hey. Be cantana na mahando. Black cantana na mi anso. Be cantama hoya baha. Bamba dova bahoya behe. Bamba da 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 ba se. Be cantana. He's gonna move in your children. He's gonna move in our teens. He's gonna move in our mothers. He's gonna move in our fathers. Yato baka. Be cantana baha. Be cantana baha. Come on, Zion. I feel a breakthrough in my belly. I feel a breakthrough in my belly. I feel a breakthrough in my belly. I am a Mahoya. Come on, God. Let your glory fall. Let your power be here. Give us the unction and give us the function for the next place in you. We put on the next place. We put on the next place. A glory that a witch can't live in. A glory that a warlock can't live in. A glory that the demonic can't live in. A glory for another place in you. 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 You're the man to hold you behind. You can tell an Amanda to you. I can't tell an Amanda to be You can't tell me answer. Bring can't tell me answer. You're an Amanda to be here. Bring can't tell me answer. Bring can't tell me Amanda to be here. Bring can't tell me Amanda to be here. Yang di 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 Oshaya. Bring can't tell me no more. You tell me answer be here. Come on, Zion. I need somebody to lay your hands in your belly and open up your mouth and give God the glory. Need you to open your mouth and give God a travail. It's down in your belly. It's down in the deeper part. It's down in the part that you don't dig in the most. There's another wave in you. There's another glory in you. There's another power in you. There's another place in God. Oh God, we thank you for the release. Oh God, we thank you for the power. Oh God. We thank you for what's moving, even now, and even me, even now, and even me. Wave your hand and say, even now, and even me. Handaya, ita na manda bohoy. Handaya, ita na na manda bah. Handaya, ika chona bonsa bah. Ita na na manda bah. Break it to the manso. Do it now, God. Unlock the glory. Unlock the flow. Unlock the next door. Unlock the next realm. Unlock the next dimension. We're reaching for your glory. They're pulling from the stage, but we're reaching for the glory. They're pulling from the mic, but we're reaching for the glory. They're pulling for status, but we're reaching for the glory. Give us the glory. Your court. A latter day glory, a glory where salvation rests. A latter day glory where cancer will triumph. A latter day glory where sickle cell can't live. A latter day glory where you will fix immersion. A latter day glory where cancer will be no more. A latter day glory where you regulate depression. A latter day glory. Will you regulate anxiety? A latter day glory. Will you give us the push that we need in this hour? Wave your hand and declare it, church. A latter day glory. A latter day glory. A latter day glory. I'm done no more. 
On this fifth day, the Lord says something was going to unlock. He said, every day I'm doing something. I told them last night, I hadn't told him in Saturday, all day Sunday, all Monday, all Tuesday. Half a Wednesday, I was so sick in my stomach. I had to press to preach three times. Sick. Didn't know what to do. Pain just would not move. But I put a smile on my face. I walked in this church and I did my job. All services. Went home and everything Lady B tried to give me, nothing moved it. Nothing shifted it. I literally had to roll in here on Monday night. It got so bad I had to walk out and tell Lady B, you got to do something. And God began to just move and shift. And God, just, and something happened. I don't know, I came to tell you. It was so bad on Saturday night, when Yolanda Beecher said, they said, Bishop, you don't look good. I said, I'm just tired. I'm going to go home and rest. I said, I'll be all right. And I literally rolled to India and I was telling Zach and them how much pain I was in. They prayed me through and we made it. And God moved in here. And on Wednesday, I had, to, I had an assignment to do in Dallas and things began to shift. And God began to give me what I need to make it. I, and I said, God, this is not what you said. I said, the devil is a liar. Ha! And the Lord said, you, you better learn how to lay hands on yourself. Y'all ain't that bullshit. I took that oil. That matter of fact, Christian is right here in my room before I left to preach in Dallas. I took the oil, began to anoint myself. No, it was when we got to the church. We got to the church. I broke out in sweat and everything else. And Christian laughing and praying at the same time. Hey, Bishop, are you sure you all right? I'm like, I'm all right. He said, do you need anoint yourself? I anointed myself with the oil and literally as I began to walk out, things began to shift in me. I got and Lady V had to stand and pray here. And she's like, are you really okay? She told me not to go. I said, I'm all right. I'm going to make it through. I made it through Sunday. I'm going to make it through. And by the time I woke up on Thursday, everything was. No, literally. That fast, that quick, that soon, that easy. God. God that fast, that quick, that soon, that easy. Toba Sha. Eat that fast, that quick, that soon, that easy. That fast, that quick, that soon, that easy. That fast, that quick, that soon, that easy. I have no pain in my body right now. You hear me? Toba shake. And literally, Prophet came in and the, 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 the heavy set guy you see serving Prophet, the boy can see. He literally inboxed me on Monday and said, Bishop, I see you in the spirit. And you seem you seem sick, like you're not doing well. I said, man, you on? I said, just pray for me. When prophet saw me, said, ain't nothing wrong with you. You just got to rest a little bit. You all right. God going. <laughs> and he was dead on. But I'm saying this. With all that God said, to be honest, New Zion has been in a birthing place. In a travail. And Lady V taught on that the other day, and she told me she was going to teach on it. I don't even know if I shared this with you then, but I, I, it's like it was uh, 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 like pain of travail, like a birthing place. And, and God said to me today, he said, tonight, even if, whether you can feel it, sense it, see it, no matter what, something's breaking. Oh, Shabbat. Break it, I, I need you to hear God. Something's.
breaking. Come in, man of God. Come in, come in, come in. Come in. You, 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 you. I want you to be very encouraged. God is, God is with you. You understand that? And the prophet said so well what, what he needed to say to you. Even the things you don't understand, just stay the course. You understand? Because God's going to do great things in you. And God's going to use you to uh, be the shift for your home. Just stay the course. God is with you. He has handpicked you out to be the shift for your house. Somebody clap your hands and give him praise for that. But listen, New Zion, and I'm not in a rush. If you got to go, you go ahead. I'm okay. I'm, I'm very confident in who God called me to be. So I'm not moved by people leaving. You go ahead and do what you got to do. I'm not going nowhere right now. But listen, what God has given me is that that yeah that the Ada there's a breakthrough and watch this it ain't happening it is happened y'all ain't talk your bullshit and and I, I need you to look at somebody and say neighbor there's some things tell them real good look at them and say please hear me there's some things we just cannot go back to come on here look at Ada tell them there's some mindsets we just cannot go back to Oh, Baba, you sound real good, Christian, but I want to make sure they hear me. Look at them and please find somebody. Don't look at me, but find somebody. Say, hey, that there are some things we just cannot go back to. There are some mindsets we just cannot go back. That's why I had to break that thing up here tonight. It ain't about who your favorite preacher is or whether you like them or not. Know that everything that's happening is about assignment and ordination by God and something that God is doing in the spirit realm that your mind probably can't even wrap itself around but your, your mindset in this season has to be God have your way do what you gotta do even if I'm not in it right now y'all ain't talking to me here do what you gotta do move how you gotta move how to just God be God y'all ain't talking to me here God be God and there's a breakthrough here and what I need you New Zion Temple to do by the power of the Holy Ghost that's in this place because we need to come up in the spirit realm they told me that a witch came in here the other night I ain't scared of no witch. Y'all ain't talking to me here. You got the wrong one. I'm bold enough to come and introduce myself. Praise God. How are you? Now you got two choices. Either you're going to stay and get with the glory or you're going to leave and not be here tonight because we don't entertain witchcraft. Nor do I give you a platform. I'm going to exit you out. Y'all ain't talking. I ain't moved by that, but what I need us to get ready for is more of those type of appearances and not to be moved when they show up. If God be for us. I'm in the wrong church. I'm in the wrong church. If God be for us, I'm in the wrong church. I'm waiting on you. If God be for us, who? I suffer not a wish to live. You step on this territory, you plan to die. Y'all enter. You come here, you plan to die. I'm a man of God. We're people of God. We're running up to God. Higher. Shut up. And I believe that breakthrough is not just for the New Zion Temple, the church, the place, if you will, but it's for the people. In the body, but God is doing something for the people of this place, the people of New Zion, every location, the virtual church, amen, the, the indie church, the Hammond church, and the churches to come. God is doing something in your personal life. So I need you to get with some. I'm, I mean that. I really hope you believe it, even if you can't see it. I ministered to somebody the other day and said, you ain't got to believe it. I don't care if you believe it. God going to do it. You ain't got to jump, shout, roll, or nothing. He's going to do it. Get with somebody. Get with somebody next to you. You ain't got to go get nobody special. Just get somebody. Somebody you don't mind touching. Hallelujah to God. And I want you to look at them and say, hey, neighbor, tonight is a special night. January 5th, the day of favor. 
the fifth day watch me now hallelujah to God the fifth day the 36th day we've been praying is that 36 days amen December 1st to this one the 36th day hallelujah that we've been in this thing look at them and say neighbor something has shifted for you something has opened for you something has broke for you and while you're holding their hand when I holler Jesus I need you to open up your mouth and give God a shout that's literally getting ready to shake some things many of you don't believe it but something shifted in your family salvation and redemption is getting ready to hit your bloodline so something's hitting your finances I know we're sowing and sowing and sowing oh well keep sowing because guess what you're getting ready to reap and reap and reap and reap and reap oh did you hear me before you can release it from one hand you're going to reap it in another did you hear what I said you've been reaping and reaping and sowing and sowing but before you can release it from one hand you're going to reap it in another just as fast as you release it it's as fast as you're going to reap it blessings on blessings on the heel of another this is the season for the remnant this is the season for the overflow this is the season for the greatness of God you shall eat from the fatness of the land the glory of God is going to be on you now grab that hand open your mouth and shout Jesus Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Breakthrough is here. 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 Fast, I tell you. 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 Fast. Fast. Fast, I tell you. He gonna do it fast. 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 Hold my, 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 my. Hold my. Watch what I tell you. I was coming. I curse this thing. I curse it. Rebbe. And don't you accept it. Don't you look back at it. The devil is a liar. Don't give it another platform. Your boss. Get your joy. Get your peace. Walk in your healing. The devil is a liar. And it ends today. I'm bold enough to declare. Hold me outside. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. Hando. Woo. Shebe. Woo. Shebe. Woo. Shebe. Woo. Shebe. Hando. Hold me. Hando. Hold me. Deha. 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 Woo. Shebe. I feel God. I feel God. I feel God. next place you're gonna crown you with wisdom open your eyes let you see your baba this is my wife I can lay hands like this in your name 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 yeah this shirt gonna be your testimony happy 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 Happy, 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 oh, happy, not just joy, but happy, 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 happy. Yabba, baba, ho, 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 yabba, basa, yabba, ho, ho, ayah. I hope you received that. That towel came to you two times. Every time he threw it, it came to you. You better learn how to catch what God's bringing to you. Yabba, basa, you can't help what's coming to you. It's the hand of God. It's the call of the 
Hello, Yada Mabosa. How Shadoya Ikanabanda Boho and Bahaya and another door 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 there shall be no lack there shall be no lack and another door he's the god of resource he's the god of more than enough he's the god that can do it he can open up the way he can supply the need he's jehovah jireh he's jehovah rohi Open your mouth, shout! I need to hear you. 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 Hold my mouth, yeah, my mama, hold you. Hold my mouth, shout. Hold my mouth, shout. As he stretch out in you, as he stretch out in you, as he stretch out in you. Even all in your body, the healing of God, your mind say, Woo! A complete work. Do you know God can complete that thing? I need somebody who believes God over your mouth and shout. A complete work. A complete work. Come in, mother. Come in, mother. Come in. I want her. Come in. Hug her. Hug her. Hug her. Open up your mouth and call Jesus. Come on. Jesus. Come on, Zion. I'm going. I'm sorry. The breakthrough is here. I don't apologize. You can go when you want to. Whenever you're ready, you can go. I tell I speak safe travel on you. And the ball, the ball. Woo! Woo! There's a push. 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 I had to. I want everybody right here in this section. Come on, yo, you. Right here. I, I went back. I want to make sure I'm hearing from God. This is what I literally see. There's a shout that's getting ready to come here. Back. Right? Ah! And in this shout, I saw like, um, I know this sound real, re, re, really weird. You know the um, the uh, the show, the Marvel show. I don't know if it's Marvels, but he turns into a stone man. Who is that? Fantastic Four. You know, but I saw like the stone being on him. But as you all were shouting, I saw it on the reverse because when he gets into his superpower, he puts the stone on. Nah, you see you with me, Jazz. But what I saw was you all shouting and the stones crumbling off. Watch. There's some old ways, habits, thinking that as y'all shout, I'm gonna grab your hand. And as y'all shout, I see the stones breaking. I see old breaking. And I literally, come on, I literally see you giving birth to new. I ran back up there because I had to make sense of it. And I was like, okay, whatever. But I'm just going to make God. You know, I'm, I'm just in a little space right now, right here. Okay, it's getting ready to break. Now, now, y'all know my, my motto, God's mouth is too big to just speak that to them. Some of you all, God's getting ready. He's getting ready to do it for you. Literally, when you shout, it's like, old things are getting ready to literally break off of you some stuff that's trying to hold on to you i mean it's getting ready to break off are you ready i'm gonna hold hold i'm gonna hurt hold
hold Sister Erica's hand. And when I grab her hand and y'all start shouting, I'm not talking about a dance, I'm talking about in your belly. Something getting ready to break. If you can feel it or not, it don't matter. But trust me, you're going to see it in just a few days. Ready? Right here. Oh, Honda! Come on, Zion! Come on! Come on! The break is here! 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 It's going to break for you. Oh my God. Woo! I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. Oh, oh. Woo! I feel the breakthrough. Watch what I tell you. 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 Some for your house. Some for your family. Some for your children. Do it in them, God. Can't nobody break through like Jesus. 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 He's the Lord of a breakthrough. 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 I wish I could touch the whole road, but I touched the one at the beginning that the Lord had touched the road. Yes! He's the Lord of a breakthrough. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. 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 Woo! We got. I love it. I love it. All right. Ah, one more time. Open your mouth and just shout. I gotta be. Hey, 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 hey. Uh oh. Woo! That thing has some power. That thing has some power. Imagine what God's going to do if we can stay in this posture. Oh, Zion. Imagine where God's going to take us. God's doing a new thing. A new thing. God's doing a new thing. Just for me. God's doing a new thing, a new thing. God's doing a new thing, just for me. God's doing a new thing, a new thing. God's doing a new thing, yeah. just for me. Tell somebody, God's doing a new thing. A new thing, God's doing a new thing, just for me. I told you, watch, I t watch what I tell you, all that, Whitney, I'm telling you, all that whole row, everything up in there, Mama Jackson, all up in there, watch what I tell you. And this just ain't for church, you understand? What God is doing is in church and, and New Zion Temple will definitely benefit I mean, this is even in, in, in areas in your personal life. I'm sorry. 
baby. Got to win a new thing just for you. Got to win a new thing. A new thing. Woo! Don't you do that, Asian. Don't you do that, Sister Nelly. I'm coming. Tell Prophet I'm coming. I'm coming. Just for me. about you. I have heard you, and I hear you, and I'm hearing you, and I have not forgotten. Mama, Mama, can you run back there with her real quick? And I just, and I just like that, because there's a victory coming to her, in the, even in her mind, and her heart, there's a victory coming to her even now. Mother, can you just leave with her real quick? Can you just leave with her real quick? Yeah, that is, that is.
how we're going home. And some, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what is that's what we hit for. I need you to hear me, hear me, hear me. Stay there, because we'll just come down just a little bit. I want you to hear me when I say this, and I don't want it to be superficial, because the love for one another is getting ready to be strengthened even more deep. You hear me? I've been praying for that. And I look and hear the Lord said, I'm going to do that. I'm going to deal with the love that we have for each other. I want you to, I want you to find someone. It could be someone next to you. I'm not going to stress you. But if you feel the need to go to someone in specific, I want you to run to them real quick. Hurry up. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. They could be the person next to you. They don't have to be, you know, this ain't the time to, to, to go hug somebody because you didn't say I'm sorry. This ain't one of them moments like, <laughs> they walk to you, you're like. <laughs> they start staring at you from across the room like. You know I ain't go. You, you doing that in church because you know I'm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this ain't one of them moments. This is a. You got that person. You got to get somebody else. PJ. Okay. okay. You gonna buy it? But <laughs> you got that person. Look at him in the eyes and say, "Hey, seriously, I love you." with the love of God, the agape love. And if you mean that, wrap your arm around them and just hug them tight in Jesus. Hug them tight in Jesus. Ha! Ah! In the name of Jesus. Come on, we know you men. We know you brothers, you know. Come on, hug them. That's it, mama. That's it. Glory. Breakthroughs are happening in this hug. See, some of y'all did it real quick because you were scared you was going to break when a break is what God needed for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. come on. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody said the Jesus in me. Jesus in me. Love the Jesus. Jesus in you. Oh, the Jesus. Jesus in me. Oh, yeah. Jesus in you. So easy. So easy. You're so easy to love. So easy. Yeah, so easy to love. So We're going home. Jesus in me. Jesus in you. So easy. You're so easy to love. So easy. You're so easy to love. So easy. Whoa. Easy to love. So 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 easy to love. 
So easy to love. So easy to love. Lord, we thank you for a prophet, Brian Mosley. What a gift. Thank you for allowing him to pass our way and to pour tonight. Thank you for his call. Thank you for his yes. And thank you for our surrender. I pray that every prophetic word is sealed under your blood. I thank you that even every moment, every experience is sealed under your blood. And I pray that God, we leave here the better the name of Jesus we thank you that tomorrow's already taken care of with prophet Mickles in Indianapolis and Sunday night with pastor Kim Ray back here on Monday night for the night of worship I thank you oh God that elder Jason is well I thank you that Lord God you brought baby Corin home I thank you, God, that you kept Brother Wayman safe. I thank you that, Lord God, you kept Elder Armstrong well. You did it, God. <laughs> and we thank you for it. We praise you for it. Now, God, as we leave this place, because we'll never leave your presence, cover us with your blood. Let your angels be seen as men walking with us in the heat of danger. And we pray that you'll help us to make it to our separate destination safe and sound. Hallelujah. You've been good to us. Bless our virtual church, Lord. I pray that the glory was so strong here that it was even stronger in their homes, in their cars, in their kitchen, wherever they were worshiping with us. God, you met every need for them. And we love you for it tonight. God, we call it done. We praise you for it even now. In Jesus Christ, most holy and gracious name we pray. All those in agreement said.